It's great to be back with you today, and thank you so much for tuning into this broadcast today. I'd like to talk to you today about heaven is sounding sweeter. I remember many years ago, back in the early 60s, when I was attending Southwestern Assemblies of God University in Waxahachie, Texas, that Lavoy Dewey was there with me and stayed on the same wing that I stayed on, and he wrote this song, Heaven is Swounding Sweeter All the Time. And that sounds so good. There are so many difficulties going on in the world today. So many people are suffering all around the world. There are so many people in the United States that are unemployed, they've got house payments to make, and uh, they're just having a hard time making it. Businesses have gone out of business because of uh, this coronavirus that has accelerated in our country to a large degree. And we are really suffering through some really difficult times. I want to encourage you that are listening today, if you know Jesus Christ, you've got the greatest thing in the world to go for you. Jesus Christ is the answer to all our problems and all of our needs. I like the song, He's All I Need. You know, friends, we need to, we need to help here, of course, with jobs and things. But what we need more than anything else is Jesus Christ in our life that can help us in our everyday things that are going on and meeting ends meet and being able to put food on the table. I talk with people all, all the time around the world that are suffering. Many people don't have uh, a place to live and many people don't even have any kind of uh, income coming in whatsoever. And that is a sad thing, and they live on a very minimal amount of money, and what they get is just uh, donated to them. God help all the people around the world, and I think it's time for us to turn to turn our eyes up on Jesus, like the song says, and look fold in His wonderful face, and the things of this world will go strangely dim in the light of His glory and grace. Oh, I'll tell you what, friends, I want to tell you, trust in God today, and He will meet every need that you have. Philippians 4 and 19 says, And my God shall supply all of your need according to His riches in glory in Christ Jesus. And Jesus will supply every need if you put your trust and your faith in Him. You may get down to the very last penny that you have, but folks, I want to tell you, hold on to God and believe Him, and He will answer prayer and open the windows of heaven for you. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's a wonderful scripture. My God shall supply all your need. I used to hear people preach that God will supply all our needs, and we got a lot of needs. Uh, we got our wants and wishes and wish we could have this and we could have that. But God knows actually what we really need. What we really need is basic supplies of food and clothing. And this is the basic thing that God is concerned. He even said in one scripture, if God was so concerned about the sparrows of the field, how much more shall he supply all of our needs and take care of us? Hallelujah. It says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these other things shall be added unto you. In, uh, in that wonderful scripture there that's found in Matthew 6, 33. And I want to encourage you today to look to heaven for your guidance. We don't know what's ahead in the days to come. We hear a lot of reports about uh, Jesus coming soon, and I believe he is coming soon. We hear all kinds of reports about uh, Armageddon is about to take place. We hear reports about the end of the world. People are reporting various different things that are going on. Yes, we are in very difficult times, and God only can interpret the answers to what is going on in our world today. But I want to tell you the most important thing that you have your name written down in the kingdom of God, in the Lamb's Book of Life. Now is the day of, day, day of, day of salvation. Uh, this is the time where we need to seek God with all of our heart. Call up on Him. If you're having difficulty today, why don't you turn to God and ask God for guidance and, lead, and, and leading you to right situations, giving you that job or opening that door, that opportunity. You know, God is a great door opener. 
He will supply all your needs by opening up the doors. He'll put people in your life that you never really knew that would be in your life. And God will take care of you in many ways. Being a believer is the most wonderful thing in the world, friend. Uh, there are people say, are you using the Lord as a crutch? Absolutely. He is more, much more than a crutch. He is concerned about everything that goes on in our life. Thank you today, and, and very seriously consider about praying and believing and asking Jesus to come in your heart. If you want to go to heaven, you need to pray and accept God's provision plan. You can't make it unless you do. You'll be rejected. It's a great white throne judgment if you don't turn to God. This is Raymond Mayfield, and I thank you so much for listening today. And remember, I love you, and most of all, God loves you. And thank you so much for listening to the broadcast today.